Hey guys, it's AK Pearl Films coming at you with another video, and this video is going to be about how to control your music library on your Mac by using an app by Apple called Remote on your iPhone. So why don't we dive right into this video right away so you can learn how to do this. So for step number one, we want to jump right over to our iPhone and open up the App Store. And now you want to search for Remote. And it'll probably be the first result to appear. And all you want to do is press on that to open it up. And as I said before, it is made by Apple. And you can read all about the description and all of that. But step number two will consist of opening up the app and doing the basic setup. All right, so let's move on to step number two. So you want to open up the remote app once you have it installed. And then if you have any Apple TVs and stuff, they'll show up there. And what you want to do is you want to press on the gear. And from here, you want to press add in iTunes library. They have all the settings down here and all of that, but you just want to press on add in iTunes library. So right here, it'll come up with a passcode. And so it says at the bottom, so to add an iTunes library, open up iTunes on your computer and select your iPhone from the device list. So jumping over to iTunes, it will pop up with this remote. Once you have iTunes open, obviously. So you want to press on that, and then you want to enter your passcode so you can pair it. And now I'll say, your remote is now able to control iTunes. So you want to press OK, or done. And there you go, you have them paired. And so step number three consists of the basic operations. So let's go on to that step. All right, now you have your iPhone paired wirelessly to your Mac or PC running iTunes. And from here, you can look up all of the stuff. So this is what I'm going to do in step three show you all of the controls. So let's dive into this part right now. So right now I'm in the albums page where you can scroll through all of your albums and see all the album titles and the artists. You can press on one to play the music in that album like so wirelessly. So you don't have to touch your mouse and scroll through all of your music files just to find them. You can use your iPhone to do it. So I really don't know why I have that on here, but anyways, that's just to show you what it can do. So let's say I want to search for like the Angry Birds theme. You can do so like this. So you can press on that. And you can play it like so. So you can also look at it by artists, and you can look at the playlists, and you can press on more to explore everything else, like TV shows, and all of that. So let's say I wanted to look at audiobooks. I don't think I have one. But there it is. You can press on that and play it. You can look at composers, genres, iTunes, U, movies, and all of that. Rentals and of the liking. So it's very easy. And you, al and you also can configure stuff as well. So let's say you want TV shows down there. You can do that as well. So it's very customizable too, and that's very nice to have. So that pretty much concludes this segment, and so let me conclude the video right away. So thanks guys for watching this video, and I hope you learned something new. So in conclusion... Comment, rate, subscribe. So if you didn't know how to do that already, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video about that. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the videos to come.